about the thimble hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you another way to do my interlock. This is diagonal and reversible interlock. Yay! So we're going to start from the corner and go all the way up and then I will have in the future my wonderful projects. Awesome hat. My favorite. I love this pocket scarf. Mittens. They're all going to be here. But first we're going to start out practicing with our little square. So let's get started. And I'm using my Yarn B Chloe Jade Taffeta. This is a four weight, but they do suggest a six millimeter hook for it. I don't know why. It's a little fuzzy, but it doesn't seem like it needs to have a six. However, remember when we're doing interlock or any kind of a Tunisian, we want to go up a hook size. So I'm going to use a six anyway. I am going to use a six so that I can get this look right here without the stitches being really tight. And this is, ends up being three tall by 14 all the way around. So first we're going to start out, make a slip knot, and we're on our six millimeter hook so I can get nice stitches. And I want to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now in each one of these chains, I am going to start pulling up loops for interlock. I'm going to go in and pull up a loop. There's one, and there's two, three, four, five, and in my very last chain, there is pull up for number six. So now I have seven loops on my hook. And now first of all, I need to do a chain so we can work the next row. So we're going to yarn over and just pull through that very first, very first loop. I still have seven loops on my hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two again. Keep going. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through our last two. So there's our first row of interlock. We're going to make a five by five square. So now we have to go underneath our little vertical bar and pull up a loop. Go under the next vertical bar, pull up a loop, Pull up a loop, pull up a loop. Here's my last vertical bar. Pull up a loop, but oh no, I only have six loops on my hook. So we we'll need to go down to our very end underneath this little crisscross and pull up one more loop. So we have seven loops on our hook again. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Just pull through that very first loop. So we kind of did a chain one. Now we're going to pull yarn over and pull through two all the way back. There's our second row. Do that again. Underneath every vertical bar, we are going to take a loop, pull up a loop, and now when we get to our end, we want to go underneath this little crisscross that we just made with our little chain one and also pull up a loop. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the very first loop and now yarn over and pull through two all the way down to the end until you only have one loop left on your hook. And that was row three. We want five rows total so we're going to do that again. Under every vertical bar and then pull up a loop we get to the end, we want to go underneath our little crisscross right here. Yarn over and pull up our seventh loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over, pull through the first one for our chain. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down to the end until you only have one loop left on your hook. One, two, three, four. That was our fourth one. You do that again one more time underneath every vertical bar, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, keeping it on your hook. So when we get to the, remember we need seven, so when we get to our end, we have to go underneath this little crisscross right here and pull up our seventh loop. Yarn over, pull through the first one, which is considered a chain. Yarn over and pull through two all the way down until you have one loop left on your hook. 
There's our first square. One, two, three, four, five. It's five by five. But you can see that this one is not very finished. You can see through it. It doesn't look as thick as the other ones. So what we want to do is go under our first vertical bar, grab our yarn, and do a slip stitch. But don't make it very tight. Don't make it too tight. If we make it tight, you won't be able to get into it when we have to work the other direction. So underneath that vertical bar, and a slip stitch. Underneath the vertical bar, and a slip stitch. Underneath, slip stitch. Underneath, slip stitch. Well now we did our fifth vertical bar, but we need one more at the end. So we're going to go underneath our little crisscross like we have been doing, grab our yarn, and slip stitch. Square number one is done. Hooray! Now we're going to do our next square. So chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In our chain six, we're going to pull up a loop through every chain. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Six loops on our hook. One, two, three. We need seven. So we are going to turn our work. So now the wrong side is showing. See, this is the right side where you can see all of your little vertical bars. We're going to turn that facing down. And go into our very first stitch right here and pull up our seventh loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now do the same as we had before with yarn over, pull through two. All the way down until you only have one loop left on your hook. Let's do that again. So go underneath our vertical bar and pull up a loop. Remember, you have to have seven. So there's number six. We're going to move over to the next spot that we can, right here, and pull up our last loop. Yarn over and pull through two all the way down. And again, underneath every vertical bar, plus one. There's our vertical bars. Now we have to move over to our piece, our other square. Go into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. There's our seven on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. And again. We want to have another five by five square. And there's our seven loops. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, 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 and two. Now that was one, two, three, four. Need one more row under our vertical bars. And our last one goes through our square, the adjacent square. Seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through two all the way down until I have one loop left on my hook. And now you can see this square is almost finished, but again we can still see through these a little bit, so we have to finish those off with our slip stitch. So we're going to go in underneath our first vertical bar and slip stitch. Remember to do that loosely because you will work into these stitches one more time. If they're tight, you'll be very sad. There's our last vertical bar. Remember, we always need to do one more thing after that vertical bar. I'm going to go over to the next stitch that you can work into on our original square, right here, and do our last slip stitch. There's one and two. Now to finish this row, remember this is going diagonally. Going diagonally. So here's one, row one, and now we're working on row two. So for our second square of row two, we want to pull up loops across the top of the square. So one, two, three, 
four and five. But remember we need seven loops on our hook, so we're going to go off to the side over this little crisscross right here and pull up our last loop. Now we have seven loops on our hook. We're going to do just like we did here. But first we have to chain one and go through our first loop all by itself to get our little chain. And now we get to yarn over and pull through two all the way down. And there's our first one of our second square of row two. So we're going to do that again. six loops on my hook. I need one more. So we want to go underneath this little crisscross on this side. Grab it. Yarn over and pull through the very first one for our chain. And we only do that when we're working on an edge. So yarn over, pull through two. And do it again until we have another five by five square. And there's my fifth one, but see it's hollow again. We have to finish that off. So this is when we do our slip stitches that are loose. Go under the vertical bar and slip stitch. Under and slip stitch. Under, slip stitch. Under, slip stitch. And there's one more vertical bar. Under and slip stitch. But we have to do one more thing. Gotta go over to our little crisscross. And do one more slip stitch to keep our stitch count even. So there's row one and this is row two. Now we're going to do row three, which is exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six chains. Go into each chain and pull up a loop. Six loops on my hook. I need seven. So we take our right side. There's our right side with our vertical bars that show. Turn it over. And we're going to work into the wrong side, right into the very first stitch that you possibly can. It's closest to all of your chains. And pull up your last loop. Now I have seven on my hook again. Yarn over, pull through two. All the way down until you have one loop left. And make another five by five square like we did before under each vertical bar and then one more on our other finished square. Let's finish this square. I'll meet you when I'm done with this square. And there is my fifth row, but it's hollow. So we need to do our slip stitches. Again, we're going to do those loosely. Slip stitch underneath every vertical bar. There's two, three, four, and there's number five. And then we have to do one more way over here. Our next available stitch needs a slip stitch also. So we can keep our counts proper. So there's row one, row two, and here's row three. This is a little bit different. It's the first time we've had both sides to work with. So we don't have to chain. We don't have to do our little chain on the side. This is probably the easiest way. These are all the internal squares. So we're just going to pull up our loops until we have seven on our hook again. Pull up all the way through. So that should be six. And then go over this little stitch right here can get really tight sometimes, so just make sure you don't miss it. And there's our seventh loop. So now we finish with yarn over and pull through twos all the way down until you only have one loop left. So we didn't have to chain anything here. All of our loops are available. We're working into the other two squares. And I'm under all of my bars. Move over to the next square to the next available stitch. And now I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two all the way back. And do that until you have your five by five square. 
and there's my fifth row. One, two, three, four, five vertical bars, but this one's hollow, so we have to do our slip stitches along the top. One under every vertical bar. And then plus one more into the next stitch. Right there, slip stitch. There's our second square. Now we're going to make our last square in row three since we're going diagonally. And we want to go into each stitch and pull up a loop. Three. And there's five. And I only have six, so we need to go over here along our side and pull up our last loop. So now we have seven on our hook. So we're on an edge, which means we have to do our little chain one and then pull through two all the way down. And you do that until you have another five by five square. Remember on the edges we have to do our little chain one and you always want seven loops on your hook. There we go, there's my fifth one. This one's hollow so we need to finish it off with our slip stitches across the top. Remember they're not too tight. slip stitch under every vertical bar and into the side under our little crisscross. Keeps our stitch count proper. There we go. Row one, row two, and row three. Now remember I told you these were three tall by 14 wide. This is one, two, three tall and all the way around here is 14. So our height is correct we need to get over here. So we are just going to turn our work and slip stitch, slip stitch down the side. And there we go. We are slip stitched. That is finished off up there. And now we can work on, we can fill in this space with this another square. And since we have both edges, it's exactly the same as this square. This one will be the same way two internal squares. So let's get those done really quick. We're going to pull up one, two, three, four, five, and in this little stitch it gets tiny because it's been worked into a couple times already. There's our seventh stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on our hook. So now we're going to do our pull through twos. And do that for the next couple squares. Get yourself another five by five square. And there's my five by five square to finish off our top with our slip stitching. One, two, not too tight. We won't be able to work into those little stitches and we'll be so sad. And there's our fifth vertical bar plus the next available stitch on our square is a slip stitch also. Then you do the same thing again, another internal square. Pull up one, two, three, four, five, and don't miss this little guy. It gets tight. Oops. And there it is. Now we'll make another five by five internal square. There is my other this one is done now, five by five. Finish off the top with our slip stitches. Under every vertical bar. And through the next stitch. And now we have to make an outside one, which is pull up six loops. Pull up underneath every stitch, go off to the side, and we have to do our chain one to raise ourselves up. Two, four, and five. Six loops on my hook, so I go over underneath my little crisscross, underneath this side stitch, pull up our seventh loop, chain, and pull through the first stitch, and make another 
five by five square. And there's that square. One, two, three, four, five bars. We're done. We'll do our slip stitches. And our last one off to the side. We're going to turn our work, slip stitch all the way down our edge, so we can call that one a finished edge. And there's our slip stitches all the way down. And we want to do another in two more internal squares. All right, so I finished this internal square. To finish off the top with my slip stitches. And then plus one more. Remember, always after our vertical bar, there's always one more thing. To do a slip stitch right there. Now we got to fill in this little square. So what we have to do is get over here. We're going to turn our work and go into our stitch and slip stitch gently down. All right, slip stitches are done. And we just to make this last, which is technically an internal square. So let's make another five by five internal square. And there's my fifth row. So we do our slip stitches across the top. So there's everything that you need to know. So there's my original square. There's a starting square. There's an ending square. These are all internal squares. And there's our ending square. Our very last square. Which is technically an internal square. But this is just the basics. So we can jump right in. Practice your diagonal reversible interlock and we can jump right into all these projects. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.